The next chapter that we want to cover is searching for life on other planets. Is there life on other planets? Has life ever been found other than on Earth? Well, the first place to look for life, the most logical place, would be in our solar system, where we have approximately nine planets. This is the so-called solar system. Some would question Pluto, whether it's a planet or not. This little diagram shows the relative location, although this is not to scale, this, they're not equally spaced. But the inner planets consist of Mercury and Venus. These are the two that are nearer the Sun than we are. And then the outer planet, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. And if Pluto is a planet or not, there is some debate. The place that they felt most likely that life could exist would be Mars. And you've probably all heard stories of men from Mars and, and that type of idea. Mercury, these are the various places that we could look for life. Does life exist on Mercury? No. The temperature on Mercury, they claim, has a high of 930 degrees Fahrenheit in the day. That would melt steel. That's hot. To a low of minus 350. That's almost absolute zero on the dark side. So no, the temperature on Mercury, and they feel like there's solar winds there, because Mercury is so hot, no life could exist or has been found on Mercury. How about Venus? Where we rotate once every day, 24 hours, Venus rotates only once every 243 days. And the surface temperature there is estimated to be 870 degrees Fahrenheit. Atmosphere, not oxygen and nitrogen like we have, consists mainly of carbon dioxide, and they have clouds of sulfuric acid. Wouldn't that be awful? No living thing that we know of could have possibly or could exist or survive on Venus. None of the space probes that have been sent there have lasted longer than about an hour before they cease to function. The surface temperature is hot enough to melt lead, so no life does not exist on Venus. The Earth we already talked about in our study of geology, the studies of Earth, it's the third planet for the sun, fifth largest. Mars. How about Mars? Are there men from Mars? Mars has no water vapor. The temperature there is closer than that Earth. Like it's 63 degrees Fahrenheit below zero. So we have some temperatures that we have an Earth that could get that low. Mars is still a favorite, though, of science fiction writers as the most favorable place for there to be life. We have put landers on there, Viking landers. It was just four years ago when the Pathfinder successfully landed on Mars. And these are some pictures of that. Does that look like life-giving soil? No. I have some other pictures here of the surface of Mars. No, they did not find water even. They still, some are thinking that water once did exist, but there's no water no vegetation. This is a picture of the ramp. That is a picture of the little rover that you can see the tracks that went down the ramp to that rock there. This rock, they named that rock Yogi. I don't know if that's named after Yogi Bear. And another picture of the surface of Mars where they have some kind of like mountains in the background. So no, they did not find any life on Mars, in spite of the fact that they sent these instruments. Jupiter, further away than Mars, is the largest of the planets. It's not, though, a solid planet. It's a mixture of ices and vapors. They feel like, from the information they have, that there are winds as high as 400 miles per hour, and they're quite turbulent. These colors that are seen on Jupiter probably result of the chemical. Saturn. Saturn's very famous. Why is it famous? Well, it's because of the so-called rings around it. And this is an unusual formation around it. The temperatures are very hot, again, on Saturn. No life could exist there. 
And then Uranus, and that's thought to have a temperature of 350 degrees below Fahrenheit. Neptune, temperature's thought to be even colder, minus 360 degrees Fahrenheit. Neptune's blue color is thought to be a result of the absorption of red light by methane in the atmosphere. Methane being what we call natural gas, you couldn't breathe there. It's like a typical gas planet, it has rapid winds, so it's not a solid either. Winds, they estimate there, reach 2,000 kilometers per hour. That'd be like 1,200 miles per hour. And the outermost planet, Pluto, which is thought to be composed of frozen methane gas, it's the furthest planet from the sun, probably the smallest. It's the only planet that has not been visited by spacecraft. Some think that Pluto would be better classified as an asteroid or comet rather than a planet. So in summary, there is no evidence of life on any planet other than Earth. The harsh environment on other planets make it very unlikely that life could have existed. Even if life did exist, it would not answer the question of how life originated. As I mentioned earlier, the most logical place for life would be on the solar system. Most of the stars are like the sun, and the sun's a star. Well, you couldn't live on a thing where there's thousands of degrees temperature. So I do not think life exists outside this Earth as far as you know, human life or life as we know it. I'm not saying about angelic, I don't know how you classify that, where the angels are all over. I don't know, I think the angels followed people when they went to the moon. I think they camp around those that fear him.